Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is T Bear Schmidt and this is my wife Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching From Dusk Till Dawn. What do you know about this movie? Almost nothing. Um, I know this was written by Tarantino. So we decided that we're gonna watch this movie all about 15 minutes ago. <laughs> so I haven't even seen the movie poster for this because I haven't put it on a schedule yet, anything. A little background, we were watching Dunkirk. Yeah, we were watching Dunkirk and we are doing that because we're just trying to finish Christopher Nolan's filmography. And we referenced the fact that we're like, oh, kind of similar to Quentin Tarantino. But then even though we've watched everything directed by Tarantino, there are still at least two things that he is involved with in a certain aspect, whether it's writing or being in the movie or something um, that we have not seen. One of them is From Dusk Till Dawn and the other one is Natural Born Killers. So we're like, if we're finishing up Christopher Nolan, we might as well also make sure we finish up Tarantino. Yes. So, because we just decided this, like I said, haven't even seen the movie poster, I know absolutely nothing about what this is about. I feel like that's cool. I do know what this is about. I have not seen this movie in its entirety. I've probably seen three to five minutes. I saw this probably at a very impressionable age when I was a young boy hitting certain things. <laughs> <laughs> So there's a scene uh, in this movie that I remember, and there's two scenes in this movie that I remember. I'll talk about those after the fact. Okay. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is a Tarantino movie, so you can expect some some crazy shit. But feet. Feet. That's a great guess. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Tarantino loves his feet. You'll see more. Um, <laughs> and I have like purposely not told you anything. So you don't know anything about this. So no. we will consider this just a first time watching for you. Okay. Even though I have not seen this movie, like I said, I only know two scenes. And they made an impression on you. Yeah, for two <laughs> different reasons. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can discuss that at the end. Um, but I loved every Quentin Tarantino movie that we've seen. I don't even think I could pick a favorite. If I, I really, I mean, maybe I could. I loved True Romance. True Romance is amazing. Yeah, and um, with... Oh, oh, uh, Jackie Brown? Yes. Yeah. I couldn't remember the actress's name. That's what I was trying to think of. Yeah, Jackie Brown. And I think that other guy, his Max Cherry, I believe. He's the guy from Jackie Brown. Oh, okay, okay. The, like the love interest. Yeah, yeah. I saw like a post randomly like two days ago, hyping him up as like one of the best dudes in a movie. And I was like, he really is so great in that movie. <laughs> Yeah. So anyways, this is kind of a longer intro for us, but um, I'm really excited to see this. I'm assuming I I can see just at the top here, we have rated R for graphic violence, adult content, nudity, and graphic language. So I think you're going to be wildly shocked about what this is about. Yes. Yeah. I can't even dust till dawn. So it takes place during the night, things that happen at night. And it's hard because Tarantino, I feel like sometimes like a good portion of his films are like period pieces. I could see that. Or a couple of them. Yeah, I mean, all of them. I mean, you have a Western, you have like World War II, you have yeah, like so, old school Hollywood. So like, I don't know, I don't know when this is either, so. All right, I think it's gonna be a, a wild ride. Okay. So I'm I'm looking forward to it. I'm, right. And I'm looking forward to actually watching this movie in its entirety. Yeah. So it's gonna be awesome. All right, let's get into it. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on our Twitch, Twitter, or Instagram, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the movie. Damn, this guy's like in all of Tarantino's movies. Hey, Earl. <laughs> yes, sir. What well, you know? The dolls. Oh. <laughs> Put me down a bottle of that Jack, will you? Yeah. I think I'm gonna get tanked tonight. Is that better than microwave food? I guess you heard about that bank robbery. It's all that's been on the box all day. Killed four rangers. Damn. One civilian. Does this make me really uneasy? Oh! I'm fucking playing with you, asshole. George Clooney? <laughs> you asked me to act natural and acted natural. In fact, under the circumstances, I think I had to get a fucking Academy Award for how natural I'm acting. Damn, back, buddy, be cool. You be cool. Get back to your places, everyone. I was trying to figure out if I recognize the girls. 
They kind of look familiar. How much you want for that hooch, Pete? Oh, 650. You bucking for early retirement? Shit, yeah. Oh! <gasps> what the fuck is that about? Single the Ranger. I did it! Shut the hell up! Oh my god. I could see his face, and I saw him mouth the words, I don't think he did. No, he didn't. You believe me? Yes, you. Oh, does he have a gun? I believe you. Start the car. You, you, you're not just saying it. You do believe. I believe you. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> Dang, people. He shot me in the fucking hand. I, I told you he said help us. I never said help. <laughs> <laughs> well, I count the three. You shoot the bottles out from behind him. Two. Yeah, take the opportunity to get out of here. Three. Oh no. Damn, that sucks. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Into popcorn? That has to be one of the most ridiculous <laughs> intros I have ever seen. That was crazy. What the fuck am I supposed to do, Seth? Oh my god. I knew he knew. Low profile. You understand the meaning of the word? Low profile? This kid, place just keeps blowing up. It is not shooting police. It is not setting fire to a building. Well, the girls got away. Man, what an opening. Wow. Oh shit, Robert Rodriguez. Okay, so. Harvey Keitel? Hell yeah. So what? Robert Rodriguez was. The director. Yeah, of. Oh, Juliette Lewis. What did he direct that we've seen so yeah, far? Yeah, didn't we do something on the channel? We might not have. That was insane. I can't. So these are our uh, bank robbers? Yes. I honestly thought, oh. Oh. I thought uh, Tarantino was about to die. <laughs> like, I didn't think he was going to make it very long. Damn, same leg position from uh, Death Proof. So written by Tarantino, but directed. Oh, there's the bank teller. So Robert Rodriguez has a movie that I would like to show you, too. It's called Desperado, I think. Okay. Oh, God damn you. <laughs> what the hell are you want? <laughs> you mean old bastard? I want a fucking room. Okay, all right. <laughs> what do they got? They have four walls and a roof, and that's all we need. Parked for a quick escape. Yeah. Don't say a word. <gasps> you, plant yourself in that seat. Okay, I'm gonna get the money. Yeah, she's dead. <laughs> I don't know if he's hallucinating. All the money fits in there? Let's cut to the chase. <laughs> I'm gonna ask you one question. Do you want to live? Yes. Good. That's a good answer. Don't you ever try and fucking run on us. Because I got six little friends, and they can all run faster than you can. Damn. Oof. You hang in there, you follow the rules, and you'll get out of this alive. I give you my word. What a role for George Clooney. Yeah. Was Seth and Richie? Is that right? You want to come so? over on the bed and watch TV with me? What it? That was, how does she, she can't make a noise to respond, <laughs> but you didn't tell her to do it. watching TV. Don't you believe in God anymore? Not enough to be a pastor. Oh, okay. What do you think mom would say? Mom has got nothing to say. She's dead. I assume that's probably what broke the uh, faith. His younger brother, Richard Gecko, a known armed robber and- yeah, So Seth and Richie, sex offender. Five Texas Rangers, eight police officers, three civilians. What a death toll for the news. The Bureau, the Rangers, and the police force are taking this manhunt personally. I would say that's a very safe assumption. Yeah, they've killed so many. Where the fuck you been, man? Sightseeing. What'd you see? Cops. 
Uh, I don't yeah. like this at all. Where's the girl? Where's the woman? Richard, where is she? She's in there. What the fuck is she doing in there? What'd he do? Richard, what's wrong with you? Oh, I don't want to see whatever that flash is. After you left, she became a completely different person. Yeah. Jeez, I'm glad we didn't get to see too much of that. What you are doing, what you are doing, what you are doing is not how it's done. Yeah. Tarantino's fucked in this movie. I can't believe he's stopping here. This place is totally cruddy. Same motel. Something wrong with this place. It's a flop house. I'm afraid for her. Yeah, me too. Well, other places have beds too, and they also have a gym. <gasps> oh! Jeez, what is this guy's problem? Creepy guy. I would not stay at this hotel. Not after that. But I'm assuming his face has got to be plastered all over. The news and everything. Yeah. He's got a very prominent tattoo. I hate to disturb you, but I'd like to ask a favor. This is going to be real bad. You don't seem to have an ice bucket. If it's not too much trouble, could I possibly borrow yours? Oh, fuck. What is this? You dumb son of a bitch. Should not have stayed here. Jacob, get up, get on the bed. If you make a wrong move, I will shoot you in the face. Where's the girl? Yeah, not good. <laughs> Stop. We're having a bikini contest and you just won. Everything's gonna be all right. It's not okay. Take these keys, you start this big bastard up and drive it up front. Richie. Richie, could you do me a favor and eat my pussy for me? <laughs> oh, sure. God damn. Oh, so disgusting. My kids aren't going anywhere with you. That's that. That's not fucking that. This is fucking this. Why do you think you have any leverage? You take your kids and you get in that motor home or I will execute all three of you right now. Jeez, dude. Okay, Ramblers, let's get rambling. I mean, they need new hostages now. Yeah. Richie? Yeah? Put in your bed. A retainer also? How'd you die? She slid on the road, she crashed, she died. Oh, I thought she was the one who got ran over. That's what I was thinking. You get us into Mexico, and your daughter will be safe, and in the morning I will let you go. If he touches her, <laughs> I'll kill him. Okay, we got a deal here. Can they put him somewhere locked away? Yeah. Feet. <laughs> He's writing scenes where he gets to just stare at feet. If you really want me to do that for you, I will. What did I say? Please stop this conversation. Richie? What? We don't have nothing to say to one another, so let's just cut the chatter. Thank God. That is like the most disgusting character. Tarantino? Yeah. Yeah, it makes me not like him for his other movies that he's directed. And this is like early in his career. And for him to write a role for himself to play like this? Just keep thinking about that gun next to Kate's head. This isn't gonna work, Sam. Shut up, it's gonna work just fine. Dan, you have to tell them that they're back there. They will definitely kill her. This is a very bad idea. Duly noted. No, shut up. Can't really back out of this idea anymore. I just feel like they should have hid better. <laughs> yeah, not just in the bathroom. They get over the border, they're gonna let us go. They want. This is not. The time. Tell the cop. I will. Oh. You ain't gonna do a goddamn thing. You hear me? You're gonna get your daughter killed. Or your sister. How many with you? Just my son and I. As long as you don't act like a fucking nut, we're gonna be just fine. What the hell's that supposed to mean? You're a psycho. You called me a fucking nut. Get this fucking voice down. What? Oh my god. Just my daughter in the bathroom. I thought you said it was just you and your son. I meant up here. Your son and my daughter. God, this is so bad. Was it possibly when your ass was rotten in jail and I <sighs> broke it out? That was nutty, not to mention stupid. Ooh. Thanks. <laughs> I'm in the bathroom. Open up as Border Patrol. Shut the fucking door, please. Excuse me. Fuck, 
fucking creep. Ooh. Fucking in Mexico, you little piece of fucking shit. <laughs> You're gonna go down a couple of miles until you see a bar called the Titty Twister. From what I understand, you cannot miss it. <laughs> it's so strange to see George Clooney in this type of role. I know, just an absolute monster. Somehow he's the better monster of yeah. the two that keeps the other monster slightly in check. Pasta. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You see something about your hand hurting and then you just hit the ground like a sack of potatoes. Should have left him knocked out. <laughs> just smashed. Shit. Hey guys, we're here. <laughs> just the flames. <laughs> yeah, flames. <laughs> <laughs> Here at the Titty Twister, we're slashing pussy in half. <laughs> we got wet pussy. We got smelly pussy. Damn. Variety. What a selection. <laughs> okay, hard drinkers. Let's drink hard. I'm fine. Come on. At least there's some sense of security in being in a public place now. Is it? <laughs> From what we've seen. They do shoot up public places. Yeah. <laughs> if you can find cheaper pussy anywhere. <laughs> I don't know if this is Cheech or Chong, but it's one of them. <laughs> Step aside, asshole. Damn. There we go. I'm so afraid of what is inside. How you doing? You enjoying it? I hope so. Damn. That's how you treat the hostess? Host? Host? <laughs> as hostess Host. female? I don't know. All I can think about is editing. This is going to be a rough edit. What a lively place. Man, Danny Trejo's so young. You said this bar is for truckers and bikers? I am a truck driver. These are my friends. Oof. Yeah, Just right? Using the situation. Oh, maybe these guys are all right. Okay, yeah, just make room. <laughs> what? You got a dick gun. Slam it down, you knock the glass down on the table, all right? One, two, three. It was a normal reaction. Okay, round two, you ready? Here we yes, go. Yes, I'll have another one, thank you. Uh, <laughs> I'm still stewing about that ape laying his hand on me. You told all of us to be cool. Never said do what I do, I said do what I say. <laughs> trying to stay calm, keep his family alive. Did they find you? No, they couldn't. You've won, sir. Enjoy. Some hey. perspective. <laughs> yeah, just chill. Sama Hayek. Where'd you get that? <laughs> I mean, everyone stopped fighting. <laughs> oh, damn. Uh oh. The worst person to go up to. And feet. He's gonna have a heart attack. This piece of shit here, man. Broke my finger and my nose. Fuck you, man. Oh. Damn, and he was already shot there. Oh. Uh oh. You think it was funny? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> hey! okay! what, are you doing, what? <laughs> what is that? Oh, the noises. 
Oh my God, are they fucking vampires? This is a vampire movie. <laughs> Oh, it's dust till dawn, that's why. <laughs> oh, what? Jeez. Oh. Jacob! Oh. You know what everybody says about me, huh? I suck. Oh. 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> He's just chucking him on the deck. <laughs> Let's see if you taste as good as your brother. She's a vampire. Oof. <laughs> oh, no way. Ew, the eyeballs. Oh, and they went to the corner pockets. Welcome. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh. This guy. Just ripped out his heart. Stab the heart. Does that work? <laughs> Just beat the shit out of him. I think you have to stab him. No, you definitely need to stab him. Oh, just a little <laughs> pencil. Hey, it's a wooden stick. V4. <laughs> what a, what type of weapons? Damn. Where are the kids? Are they supposed to burn up or something? <laughs> uh oh, the band. Fuck you, everybody. Good night! What? Where'd they go? <laughs> Just a torso. Is he a vampire now? Or she just kill him? I feel like he should be a vampire. Because he just got bit and then died. I love you. Woody, he, he was pretty fucked up. Oh! You touch my brother with that steak, biker, and vampires aren't gonna have to suck your blood. They'll be able to lick it up off the floor. Dude. That's creepy. It was already creepy. Hold him down. Here is the peace in death that I could not give you in life. Oh, he did it. Oh, let go, guys. He's on fire. But if we're gonna get out of this, we need you clean and sober and thinking, not drunk. What's that noise? What is that? Bats? Your hand. Oh, good. Yeah, block it. We just gotta survive till dawn. <laughs> so many bodies. Oh, oh no! Ankle biter. Oh no! Where is everyone? Oh, oh. fuck! <laughs> Did he kick her? <laughs> kind of both, I think. Watch your step. What's your name, Billy? Kate, what's yours? Sex machine. Pleased to meet you. Sex machine! <laughs> There you go. 
Got one. Oh, no. Oh, man. Not sex machine. Damn, sex. No, don't hide it from the group. What is that? Just hold it together with body parts. Has anybody here read a real book about vampires or are we just remembering what some movie said? I like how this is a movie where they recognize it's vampires, you know? Yeah. They got superhuman strength. Conceivably, if you hit one hard enough, take the head right off. <laughs> Thanks, sex machine. When is he gonna turn? His faith isn't what it used to be. What are we doing, people? Are you a faithless preacher? Or are you a mean motherfucking servant of God? Hopefully the second one. <laughs> servant of God. <laughs> Good. Uh-oh. I don't like him turned. Kill them. Kill them? Sex machine, say something. Oh! oh. It's so animated. Oh. It's too late. To this day, I don't remember. No, what? Oh, oh the no! Death. Jeez. Oh, fuck. Oh. oh no! No! Hell, you turned immediately! <laughs> oh my god! We have to go back for my father. Your dad's dead, Kate. Yeah, he got chucked behind the bar. Well, I mean, he got bit regardless. Okay, shotgun. Oh. Cross? Cross. Shotgun cross. Oh my god. <laughs> Weren't there any in there or no? Maybe they went back just for him. Open the door! You're gonna be okay, aren't you? No, I'm not. Damn. I don't care about living or dying anymore. I just want to send as many of these devils back to hell as I can. Amen. <laughs> All right, let's arm up. Oh, <gasps> squirt guns <laughs> and holy water. No way. <laughs> Ooh, crossbow. Ooh, holy bullets. Damn, they got totally set up. I want you three to promise you'll take me down. No different from the rest. I promise, Jacob. Yeah, he's not gonna hesitate. It's not suicide. If he's already, already dead. dead. Two! Okay. I swear to God, in Jesus Christ's name. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Kill some fucking vampires. Who's gonna kick this off? Oh, that worked. <laughs> Just, I feel like that squirkin's like the most effective. I know, I feel like she's screwed when she runs out of bows. Right? Arrows. <laughs> oh no! Oh, sex machine. Oh. <laughs> Gonna take his head off. Oh, no way. Ugh. Nice. What the fuck? How did you do that? You turned into a rat? Any backup here? Oh, what a kick! 
Jeez. Damn, Sex Machine got it so bad. Oh, this dude. Fuck. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Guess he already died. Uh oh. One of them. He turned. Dad? No way! I swear to God in Jesus Christ. Jeez, but A he got- A little late. Oof. Oh, and she's out. Oh, the sun got it bad. Kill me, Kate. Do it, he's getting ripped apart. I can't. Kate, Kate. you're watching, he's getting mutilated. Damn, what a strong gun. There's so many left. <gasps> Son! Oh, they're working around the sun. Shovel! There we go. They gotta bust open the front door. Oh, I'm looking for my friend Seth. It's Carlos! Finally! <laughs> Jeez Louise. Cheech or Chong again? <laughs> no way, the disco ball. Woo. What the fuck was going on in there? <laughs> What's the matter with you? Are you crazy? Why do we have to meet here? One place is just as good as another. <laughs> You've never been here before. No. <laughs> what were they, cycles or? Psychos do not explode when sunlight hits them. <laughs> How can I make it up to you? Can't, I can't make it up to me. 15% instead of 30% for my stay in El Rey. That's a good start. 28. 28? Two? 20. 25. <laughs> okay. Go to the RV, get the suitcase. Damn. Hey, Seth. It's time to go. Go home, Kate. Damn, she doesn't have a home. Everyone's dead. She got so screwed. <laughs> Her entire family's dead. She's alone here. <laughs> it's like a whole temple. All right. That was From Dusk Till Dawn. What'd you think? <laughs> what the hell was that? I was excited for you to see how ridiculous that movie was gonna be. I mean, I had a ton of fun watching that, but... <laughs> what was that? Yeah, literally, what was that? I couldn't have guessed that's what this movie was gonna be about in a million years. I guess, like, Dust Till Dawn, okay, it's like during the night. Yeah, which you kind of said in the intro. You were like, oh, something like, during the night and yeah stuff. yeah that was probably about the only clue that this was gonna be vampire related at all yeah so to cover what i did know uh the scene that i remember seeing when i was a kid was i guess his name is sex machine and his like you know the gun that pops out for his genitals and then it shooting a vampire so i knew that it was a vampire movie because of that like three second clip. Yeah. And then as a boy, Salma Hayek. <laughs> so. <laughs> she looked fantastic. I didn't remember her with the snake and I didn't remember like her turning into a vampire. It mm -hmm. was just like probably her dancing on the table for a few seconds. That stuck. So uh, <laughs> that was it. So I knew it was a vampire movie. I was waiting for this to turn to a vampire movie and it's like over an hour into the movie and like Quentin Tarantino is a disgusting character and George Clooney is obviously a bad guy also. Yeah. But 
I was just like, damn, when is this gonna turn to a fucking, I was just waiting and waiting for the, for, for the movie to really become the movie that I think of it as. But yeah. the reality is the majority of this movie is these like two guys on the run. Damn, I mean, we talk about villains um, in a lot of the movies that we've seen on this channel. Quentin Tarantino as Ricky has to be one of the most disgusting characters that we've seen in a long time at least. Yeah. Quentin Tarantino unfortunately has like a vibe and a look that is creepy. <laughs> so it it really goes into this character. Uh, and yeah, he is just gross. No, I mean, he played this character like, wow. Obviously the initial scene that we got with the hostage bank teller, you just knew that it was gonna be bad um, from the moment that the news kind of shared his rap sheet. Right. And then for Seth to come in the door and the door shut to the bedroom, it was like, shit, like what did he do? Yeah, there's no sound coming from there or anything. Yeah, and then the, obviously the scene where he first sees Kate as well, like that was just like, a shocking moment of him hallucinating. So the whole thing is just gross. Um, obviously we also had like the feet. <laughs> it was safe to assume there was gonna be feet. Yeah, he loves um, his feet. Yeah, so you had Kate and then also Selma Hayek. <laughs> yeah. He played it though. He was very believable in that role. So oh, yeah. that, was, that was crazy to see. I mean, Quentin Tarantino is obviously extremely talented. Yeah. But I feel like in a lot of his movies, we don't actually see him acting a ton. No, he's in a, in a Pulp Fiction for like a little bit. He's in most of his movies for a little bit. Yeah. If not all of his movies for a little bit. He's, he usually has some sort of like small cameo but it's, or yeah, something. Yeah, it's usually really small. Uh, so this was a massive role for him. I wasn't anticipating him to last that long. I honestly, from the very first scene when we're in that uh, gas station or whatever that was, liquor store, oh, I thought he, he was done for. And he gets like shot already? Well, just like the, yeah, the whole like aspect of them, clearly it's it looked like they were like robbers or whatever it was in the very beginning we didn't know yet. Right. I was like, oh, he's done for. Yeah. But he lasted much longer in the movie than I thought he was going to. Yeah, no, he definitely lasted all the way up until the point where he turns into a vampire. Yeah. But yeah, I was waiting for this movie to just go into its ridiculousness. Again, like that three second clip is all you need to know about this movie is vampires and like a gun coming out of someone's crotch. And like when this movie turns on, it is insane. It literally doesn't stop for the whole like end of this movie. Yeah, like the last 30, 40 minutes of this movie are just bananas. Yeah. I mean, you kind of go through like moment of like shock because you're unsure of what's happening when they start turning. Yeah, especially because Salma Hayek's the first one who turns. And she and looks she, like a snake. Yeah, she looked kind of like, like a snake or like a lizard or something. I yeah, guess yeah. snake, obviously she's dancing with a snake. Oh, true, true. But like she doesn't immediately scream vampire. No. Uh, so I was like, what is happening? And then we started getting more vampire-like the putting all the women on the uh, legs. The the, yeah, the legs. legs of the table get all, like four impaled women right there. Yeah. Like the uh, pool table one. With, yeah, like, the, the pool cue. The eyeballs going to the corner with Danny Trejo. I yeah. Think. I think also, I guess that brings up another clue is the fact that Jacob, the father is a minister. Yeah. So I guess that kind of very importantly comes into play into this because that was really cool that he got to like bless the water yeah. to turn it into holy water. Cause I agree. I think that was one of the better weapons. They all should have had squirt guns in reality. Yeah, it looked like there was a ton of squirt guns in there. So like minimum, you should have had a squirt gun. And then if you had, you know, they had the shotgun and the bow, crossbow and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And all of that stuff. Yeah, but the holy water and the water balloons too, when they were just, cause those you can do from like a distance. Yeah, like they, anything... they had really cool stuff, but practically, if you were gonna fight your way out of a uh, strip club full of practically. vampires, practically, squirt guns probably would have been the way to go. Yeah, um, obviously it came to Dawn being what was going to save them. Dawn? Was, oh, the, the duh, Dawn, yeah. Dawn. I was like, what character was Dawn? <laughs> No, the, the sunlight sun. with Dawn. <laughs> the sun saved them. Um, but I was not anticipating after this all kicked off to lose that many characters. We only had uh, Seth and Kate left at the end. It really, like, obviously when things go bad, they really go bad. Yeah. But 
when Sex Machine turns and then he kills Fred Williamson, who I guess plays uh, Frost. So he takes out him and then they, you know, bite the dad and the dad gets flown. And it's just like so many characters right in like a few seconds just go. Yeah. And um, he I'm, turns so quick. Yeah. I well, guess depending Frosted. where, because he got bit like in the neck. Maybe. Yeah. I guess maybe where you get bit. I feel like it took forever to, for Ricky to turn though. Yeah. I wonder if it's because he like died. So it took a while for him to come back. Oh yeah, maybe he didn't die from the bite. Yeah, I don't know. Or, you know what I mean? Right. Like he he was dying with his blood draining. As opposed to staying alive and then having it turn to you faster. Is Wilmer Alderaan? No, there's actually a TV show called From Dusk Till Dawn. Oh. Also. It's bait, like it's the same story. Oh. I've never seen it, but uh, it's <laughs> more- like, what the heck <laughs> Yeah, it's more current, cast? so there's the- a bunch, like Robert Patrick, like damn, there's a lot of people in this. Yeah, this cast list got messy on Google. But yeah, no, I was not anticipating the dad to die. And I was also not anticipating the dad to immediately kill his son. Yes, that was brutal. I mean, the son hits him with the uh, water balloon and it kind of melts like half his face. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, he immediately went after him and after he had promised to kill him. And I mean, he ends up killing him um, son, Scott. Right. But like too late. Too late. And then freaking Kate, she eventually does it, but damn, she like those 10 yeah, seconds. Yeah, just letting her brother just kind of get Just eaten. ripped apart and he's like, yeah. fucking kill me, please kill me. Yeah, that was rough to watch. I mean, we can't judge. We've never been in a situation I know, like that, right? but it seemed like it was like <laughs> a very long time and he's literally asking you to do it. Yeah. Um, so I was not anticipating it to come down to just Kate and Seth. Yeah, no, I was not expecting that either. Um, and then Seth is just like, peace and just leaves. And then Kate's kind of on her own. I mean, obviously she shouldn't go with him to this like life of crime. crime. And he is a terrible person. Yeah, but you think he would have maybe helped her a little bit more? Like uh, she doesn't even have a passport. He kidnapped her and brought her down here. She can't even get Well, no, back. they were going to Mexico anyways. Were they? Yeah, I think they were taking a trip to Mexico. Oh, okay. And he did give her a stack of cash. So it's like, I, who knows how much money he actually did give okay, her. Okay, so he gave her some cash and left her in the <laughs> middle of the desert. <laughs> to be alone with no family. <laughs> Kate, I mean, Kate obviously got it the worst out of everyone. Yeah, I mean, her brother got it really bad, but then he was dead. Right, I mean, like, she's a survivor, yeah, but now she literally, screwed. her mom's dead, her dad's dead, her brother's dead. She just went through a horrifically traumatic experience. And then it's like, here's some money. Here's some money, bye. Yeah, but so he couldn't really do anything else. I mean, he was making some connections down in Mexico. <laughs> he should have had someone help her back up. Yeah. Yeah. Or be like, hey, let's get you a room. Or <laughs> like, get you like new clothes. <laughs> right. Get you fed or something. Cleaned up a little. But um, also, uh, Juliette Lewis, we'd seen her in Cape Fear. I think we've seen her. I think it was one other film we saw her in. Fantastic, she's such a good actress. Yeah, she's awesome. Yeah. So yeah, it's just such a crazy movie and it's just ridiculous too. I mean, like we went through like the, the women on the chairs and stuff, but you also have like people using the uh, the whip or whatever. Oh yeah, and just took his head off. Yeah, and then also, I don't know why he turned into a freaking rat. Like, yeah, damn. that. Uh, I was confused because at first I thought he was coming out as like a werewolf, um, oh. but it was definitely a rat. The whole style of the movie is just crazy. Wow. Oh, the uh, the band suddenly like their their instruments are like severed body parts. Yeah, that was gross. Uh, so just a wild movie. I couldn't imagine. Like, I wonder how this was marketed. Was it shown in the trailers to be a vampire movie, or was it shown to be like? Oh, George Clooney and Tarantino are criminals on the run. And you're yeah. like, oh, okay. And then you show up to the movie and then all of a sudden it's a fucking vampire movie. Yeah, I hope. I, I hope. hope. That's how it was marketed. Wow. And George Clooney. I mean, we didn't even talk about George Clooney yet. That was wild to see him playing that type of like a dirty villain. Yeah. Um, he does it well. Yeah. I mean, he, it's crazy because it's George Clooney. So it's like, you want to like him because he's pretty charming in general, but yeah. then he's murdering a bunch of people, bank robber, keeping people hostage. And I feel like the charm of George Clooney really helped in getting over the fact that he is an evil criminal who's yeah. killed multiple cops and people and stuff. Yeah. Because he is so charming. Once he's forced in a situation where they're like fighting side by side, you aren't like rooting for his downfall necessarily. Like yeah. you are, 
seeing that he's good enough a person, especially because of the amount of times that he tried to put Ricky in check. Yeah. And he's like, I'm not fucking like this. This is wrong. Don't do this. Yeah. The movie does a good job letting you know like, okay, evil criminal, but you're still gonna root for him to kill a bunch of vi uh, vampires. Yes. Yeah. And I so feel it's like- a good balance. Yeah. And George Clooney is an actor who can pull that off. Yeah. Because if that was like Quentin Tarantino's character, you would just be like, no, <laughs> let's just have you die as quickly as possible, please. <laughs> Yeah, no, uh, George Clooney was so good in this. I mean, everybody was fantastic in this, but it just felt like insane how we progressed from that. Even that introduction scene was wild yeah. at the liquor store. So to progress all that way into then a vampire movie was not something I was expecting today. Because I feel like the intro is so like Tarantino mm -hmm. because it's like a interesting conversation that is yeah. also kind of weird and wrong yeah. or whatever doesn't feel like it's important to anything necessarily in the story it's just characters talking yeah and then it goes into the crazy hyper violence and stuff mm -hmm. like that feels so tarantino yeah and then by the time you get to the end of the movie where it's just like weird wacky violence with vampires you're like did tarantino write any of this or was this all robert rodriguez influence on it uh, I don't know. No, I'm th I'm assuming the whole thing was Tarantino. It's just, a, it's a good blend with Robert Rodriguez and Tarantino. Yeah. And I don't know if we've seen something by him on the channel, Robert Rodriguez, but I do know that there is a movie that I actually think might be Salma Hayek's first movie. And it has Antonio Banderas, I believe. And it's called Desperado, I want to say. Okay. It's really, I, that's a movie I saw when I was younger. And there's like one specific scene I really remember with like a guitar case. Uh, I won't say any more than that, but I think that would be an interesting movie to show you because it's, you know, same director as this. Yeah, you know what I'm thinking? I don't know if we've watched Robert Rodriguez on the channel. I'm thinking, I think there's like a movie that's supposed to be like a... Yes, um, the movie... Is it Planet Terror? Planet Terror. Something? So okay. when we watched Death Proof... Yes, okay, that's what I thought. There was like a, it's like a, what is that called? Double feature? Grindhouse. Yeah. Brian, I think that's what it's the term or whatever. Yeah. It's yeah, yeah like I a double right. feature. Right. So I think that's why I recognize his name, which we we haven't seen Planet Terror still. No. Um, I, if I had to guess, it's probably very similar to the violence and craziness of yes, this. Yes. Yeah. So I'm glad that this was our introduction. Well, I guess my introduction if you've seen Desperado. Yeah. Because I think that made for the uh, shock factor. Now you're like prepared. Now, yeah, <laughs> if I watch something else, I'm gonna be like, oh, what are you gonna do, Robert? <laughs> How crazy is this about to get? Yeah, but this one, I had absolutely no idea where this was going. So I think that made this an even more enjoyable watch. Yeah, a great time, super fun. Yeah, so thanks to everyone that suggested this to us. Obviously we're making our way through the last of the Tarantino films that we have to watch, but this was recommended a ton as well. So. Yeah. Thank you for recommending that. Yeah, I believe we only have Natural Born Killers left and then technically maybe a movie called like Four Rooms or something. Yes, yeah, I think that's four directors though, right? Yeah, and he's okay. one of the four, I yeah. believe. Yeah, okay. So, I don't know. Let us know if we are missing something though. Um, we've seen, if, if it's like a major Tarantino film, we've seen it. We've seen Pulp Fiction. Uh, and Glorious Bastards. Yeah. Like that stuff's just not coming to the channel because we've seen Pulp Fiction. I said that. Oh, <laughs> what the fuck did? Did I say? <laughs> you said Inglorious Bastards. Oh, oh, um, Django Unchained. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. So we've seen those, unfortunately. Yeah, so we can't do a first time watch on the channel, but let us know if we're missing any like- Written by. Weird, yeah. Or like starring cameo or whatever, you yeah, know? Yeah, that you would recommend we watch. Uh, but yeah, this was fun. A lot of fun. <laughs> so if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, peace everyone. Bye. Bye.